Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Sushi Dragon Masters. And today I'm here with my May book haul. So in May I read four books. Which basically my reading goal is 50 books. So um, that's still right on track. Still getting there. I did reach my halfway point in May so I have I have achieved things in life but anyways let's get to the wrap up so the first book I read in May or completed in May I technically started it in April but I completed it in May was Cinder by Marissa Meyer this is a book that follows Cinder who is a cyborg in this like sci-fi version of I guess Beijing because that's where they are but not everything is as it seems and Cinder learns lots of secrets and the story unfolds from there this is the first book of the Lunar Chronicles and I gave this one a 4 out of 5 I did enjoy it but it was a bit slow at times but it is the first book of a series, so they did have to build the world and develop all the characters into it. But overall, I did like it. But the weird thing is, as I was reading it, I was thinking, like, oh, this is, like, so boring. But then when I would talk about it, I would talk about it, like, so excitedly, and I was enjoying it. So I don't know what was wrong with my brain, but I do, I do like it. I love this series so much. The next book I completed in May was The Air by Kira Cass. I did a book talk on that. If you want to see the book talk, you can... I will try to learn how to annotate, and you can click on this book. If I failed to learn, it will also, there will also be a link in the description. But this is book four of the selection series. And I don't want to go into this too much, because if you have not read the first three selection books, knowing the plot of this one could spoil you, unless you're like me and you read all the titles of the books of the selection and you're just like, oh, okay, so that's what's going to happen. But I did give this a 5 out of 5, and I cried. It was sad. And I can't wait for the last book. I can't wait for the novellas. They come out in October, I think. Not sure. But I do love this book. This is my favorite book of the series so far. I can't say it, make it official yet because there's one more book coming out. But if you have not read the Selection series yet, I do recommend it. It is kind of more of a girl thing, I guess, but it's still awesome and enjoyable and fun. The next book I completed in May was Just Listen by Sarah Dessen, and I'm sorry if I keep looking over here, but I have a list that tells me the things. This book follows a girl named... Annabelle, who has just gone through a traumatic life event and is trying to keep it a secret until she finds a boy who teaches her to just listen. Get it? This is a contemporary and I did enjoy this one a lot more than I thought I would. I gave it a 4 out of 5. And, I don't know, I just really liked it. I do like contemporaries, but usually a contemporary getting a four for me is hard. You have to be really good at writing contemporaries if you want me. If the author has to be really good at contemporary writing if they want to get something higher than a three. But Sarah Dustin is awesome at writing, and it's good story and I, I liked it it's kind of a little funny too 
The only thing is, whoever did the publishing and editing kind of stunk at their job. Because there are so many errors. Like, there are sentences in there that make no sense whatsoever. And I can tell what's trying to be said. It's just like when you're typing really fast and you say something wrong. Someone didn't catch that. But the last book I read in May was The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. And this book is a historical fiction World War II book. And I cried so much the day I finished this. This book is just so heartbreaking and depressing, but it's good, and I would give it a 5, but it's so heartbreaking and depressing that it lost a point, so it's got a 4 out of 5. Now, if Marcus Suzak wanted me to give him higher rating, he shouldn't have made it so heartbreaking. Just a thought. And I'm actually going to be watching the movie this weekend. But now we are going to move on to my TBR for next month. So basically I do want to finish Scarlet by Marissa Meyer and I have it downstairs. I also have planned to read What Happened to Goodbye by Sarah Dessen, and I feel like it sounded like I said what back did I laugh, but you know what? We're just going to roll with it. And I'm going to reach into my TBR jar, which isn't actually a jar, but you know, it, it rhymes. And I don't know what happened to the paper that said Delirium and the one that said Artemis Fowl, but you know, I, I didn't read those books, if you haven't seen. I pulled out paper. Across the Universe by Beth Ravis. Ravis. Something like that. Maybe I will actually read my TBR suggestions. Okay, and. Oh. In my suggestions cup, I pulled out Jane Eyre by, pretty sure that says Charlotte, can't read the last name, I have heard of this book before though. We'll see if I actually get around to reading what I pulled out this time. But, I just want to make a quick announcement before the video is over. This is going to be one of my final times filming on this camera. And I am so excited. I am getting a camera that films in HD. And has, like, one of those thingies that pull out to the side and you can flip it over. And I am just so excited. I just want this thing so bad. But I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I don't know I have an accent. Okay, my accent just changed. Let me go back to American. Okay. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.